As you are building and editing your forms, I do recommend having a fake patient's clinical notes open in another tab. That way you can see your progress as you go in real time and then know what adjustments you need to make. To do this, hover over clinical, and rather than clicking on clinical notes, either hit command and click or right click and click open in new tab. From here, select one of your fake patients and click start note. We can close the clinical notes tab. So now you just have your fake patient's clinical note and you have the form builder. With a short text field, you can click on the field to edit. You'll see here there's a label name, and this will be the title that you see associated with this short text box. For instance, maybe we want to document the primary complaint. Down below, your generated text box determines what actually shows up in your clinical note when you interact with this field. So we don't want to leave this blank. You will be typing in words and numbers into the short text box when you're writing your clinical note. So we need to include the value button, which is essentially a placeholder for any of the text that you input as you're charting. This tells the field where you want to output that text. For instance, depending on how you want this field to be formatted, we can either include some information prior to the value button to give it some context, or if you want this to be more of a sentence rather than a bullet format, here we can say, for instance, use the patient button to populate the patient first and last name, patient's primary complaint is, and then the value button will populate whatever the primary complaint is, for instance, low back pain. With every field, you also do have some spacing options. If you check off new line, this is going to be like hitting return or enter once, and this will populate this text one line below the prior field. Or you can click new paragraph, and this is like hitting return three times. If you don't select either, it will simply have this text follow the prior text without adding any line spacing. Hit update field. You'll see that your short text box sits in the top left hand corner. If you would like for it to stretch across these two columns, click on the field to edit and check off wide field. This will have your short text box stretch across the two columns and give you a larger text box to type into as you're writing up that clinical note. Hit save. And now we can go to that fake patient's clinical note. Go to the additional section and find the note that you're working on. This is the field that we just created together. Primary complaint is the label name. And anything that we type into the text box will now show up in the clinical note. Click the blue view complete note to take a look. Here we can see the title of the form we just built. It pulled the patient's first and last name from that patient button. And this is what we had typed into the generated text box. The value button is what populates low back pain, which is what we had typed into the short text box when you're writing up that clinical note. Make sure to include the value button for any type of field where you will be either typing in values, such as the short text box, or selecting values from a list of values, such as the single or multiple select dropdowns, as we will go over shortly. You may notice here, if we go back to the form builder and remove this value button, I'm simply going to click the blue view complete note to refresh, and it fails to populate the text that we had typed into the clinical note, low back pain. So that's why it's important to have your value button for a short text box. A similar field to the short text box is your fraction field. This is essentially a short text box simply with a slash built in for any values with a numerator and denominator. For instance, some providers use this kind of field for documenting eyeglass prescriptions, or sometimes even more creatively, for instance, for frequency of pain.
Here you have two boxes, one for the numerator and one for the denominator. So that's how you create and edit short text fields and fraction fields in your form tools. Make sure for these fields, again, that you're including the value button in the generated text box 